Here's everything you need to know about Lost in 8 minutes, 15 seconds. Oceanic 815 leaves Sydney for Los Angeles and crashes on an island in the South Pacific, a very mysterious island. There are 48 survivors, but some die later on. Jack is a doctor. He has a compulsive urge to fix things. Kate's on the run from the law for killing her dad. Sawyer is a con man. Locke is in a wheelchair, but after the crash, he can walk. Charlie is a musician in a one-hit wonder band. He has the hots for Claire. Peanut butter? The cute pregnant girl. Saeed was in the Republican Guard and tortured people. Son and Jen are from Korea. They have marital issues. Michael and his son, Walt, are just getting to know each other. Hurley won millions in the lottery, but thinks it's a curse. Dude. After the crash, Jack Jack helps everyone out. He becomes the de facto leader. Jack meets Kate. Kate stitches up Jack. They bond. On the first night, there's a monster in the jungle. There's other weird stuff, too. It's a polar bear. Jack, Kate, and Charlie find the transceiver in the cockpit, but a monster comes and eats the pilot. They get a signal on the transceiver. It's a French woman speaking French. Charlie asks, Where are we? Locke kills wild boar, loves life on the island. Jin catches sea urchins. Claire's baby starts to kick. Sawyer hoards meds to get a kiss from Kate. What? They kiss. Locke finds a hatch in the ground. Locke tries many ways to open the hatch. Locke and Boone find a plane. Boone climbs up, it falls, Boone dies. Claire has her baby. She names him Aaron. Ah, the circle of life. Michael builds a raft. The others come and take what? They blow up the raft. The others are the island's original inhabitants. Locke blows open the hatch. There's a man down there. His name is Desmond. And he's been pushing a button to save the world. Saving the world. Desmond bolts and Locke starts pushing the button. Sawyer gets sick. Kate is worried. Jack gets jealous. Kate freaks out. Jack consoles her. They kiss. Kate freaks out again. Jack is confused. Son is pregnant, but Jen is sterile. What's up with that? Michael I chats with Walt, gets caught by the others. An other named Henry Gale gets caught in a net. Michael sets Henry free and betrays his friends. He gets a boat to leave the island with Walt. We're the good guys, Michael. Meanwhile, the survivors see a boat. It's Desmond. He's drunk. Locke and Desmond don't push the button in the hatch. You kill us all. The sky turns purple and the hatch is obliterated. Hurley finds Desmond running naked in the jungle. Whoa. The hatch blew his clothes off and now he can see the future. Jack, Kate, and Sawyer are held prisoner by the others. Jack is greeted by Henry, whose real name is Ben. Benjamin Linus. Jack meets an other named Juliet. They bond. Cheeseburgers. Ben has a tumor and he wants Jack to take it out. Kate and Sawyer think they're going to die, so they have sex. Jack sees Kate and Sawyer on an old TV and says he'll do the surgery. Jack does a trick and says Ben will die if Kate and Sawyer don't go free. Kate, damn it, run! Kate, Locke, and Saeed come back for Jack. They see Jack play football with Mr. Friendly. Mr. Friendly throws like a girl. Locke blows up a submarine, hangs with the others. They all think he's special. Juliet and Jack grow closer and head back to the survivor's camp. Locke wants to meet Jacob. Jacob lives in a creepy cabin, surrounded by white ash. Nobody's ever seen Jacob, but Locke hears him say, Help me. So Ben shoots Locke and leaves him for dead. A woman named Naomi parachutes on the island. She says Desmond's girlfriend Penny sent her to find him. She came from a freighter 80 miles away and has a phone. Mom? Desmond has a vision that Charlie flips a switch and drowns to save his friends. Charlie knows he's going to die, so he says goodbye to Claire. Don't worry about me. Very sad. Juliet tells everyone the others are coming to take the pregnant women, so the survivors blow up the others. But Saeed, Jen, and Bernard get caught. Hurley saves the day by running over the others with the Dharma van. Jack leads everyone to the radio tower to make the call for help. Charlie flips a switch. Charlie talks to Penny. Who's Naomi? Turns out the freighter is not Penny's boat. Patchy blows up the station, and Charlie drowns. Very sad. Locke is going to kill himself, but Walt appears. Now get up, John. Whoa. Naomi calls the freighter, but falls over with a knife in her back. Locke threw the knife. Jack is mad. John! Jack and Locke have a standoff. Jack calls the freighter anyway. The freighter says they will be there soon. Everyone is happy. They think they're finally rescued. But Jack and Locke disagree. The survivors split into two camps. Some go with Locke, some go with Jack. Four people from the freighter arrive on the island. They have a chopper. Jack and his gang believe it's the ticket off the island, but the freighter people came to find Ben. Saeed and Kate head to Locke's camp. Sawyer wants Kate to stay and play house. Kate stays, and everyone goes Norman Rockwell. Coffee smells good. Locke keeps Ben in the basement. Kate and Sawyer have a fight. Kate goes back to the beach. Saeed and Desmond head to the freighter. Des has side effects. Then he calls Penny and all is well. I love you, Penny. Gotta love Des. Back on the island, Claire goes missing. Dad? Ben tells Locke the freighter is Charles Woodmore's boat. Widmore is Penny's father. Charles Widmore wants to exploit this island. Ben rallies Richard Alpert and the others, and Widmore's men are defeated. Ben gives the island to Locke, because he's the new leader of the others. Welcome home. Locke gets his marching orders. He wants us to move the island. And the survivors head to the freighter, but the chopper's leaking fuel. Get every ounce of extra weight off this chopper now! So Sawyer plays hero. Nice day for a swim! And finds Juliet drunk on the beach. The chopper makes it to the freighter, but Des is freaked. Get away, there's a bomb! Did he say bomb? So they bug out, and Jin is left behind. Dad! They head back to the island, just as Ben turns a big donkey wheel. The sky turns white and the island disappears. It's gone. No way. They get picked up in the middle of the ocean. There's a boat. This time it is Penny's boat, and Desmond is reunited with his girlfriend. Are you okay? Jack, Kate, Aaron, Saeed, Hurley, and Son make it back to the mainland and are met by a media frenzy. They become known as... The Oceanic Six and they decide to lie to protect the friends they left behind. It happened really fast. Jack and Kate give it a go. Of course I will, yes. But the lie takes its toll, and Jack becomes an addict. You can't do this. 
Kate pretends to be mummy to Claire's baby Aaron. Saeed is a hitman working for Ben. Son has her baby and is determined to avenge Jin's death. Hurley is a patient in a mental hospital and haunted by the lie. I think it wants us to come back. Meanwhile, their friends back on the island have joined up with the freighter people, and the island starts flashing through time. What? That's right, time travel. Good luck with that. They travel to the 1950s and they meet the others. What's it to you? The 50s others have a hydrogen bomb. Bury it and everything will be fine. They also find Jin. Jin? He's alive. Well, what do you say? <laughs> Yay. But the time travel makes their noses bleed and they slowly start to die. So Locke turns the donkey wheel and sees Jack's dad. Say hello to my son. The time flashes stop. I think it's over. But Sawyer and his group are stuck in the 1970s with the Dharma Initiative. And Locke pops out three years in the future in the Tunisian desert and goes looking for his friends. Hello, Hugo. They're not happy to see him. I'm not going back. The answer is no. Please, listen. La, 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 la. Locke finds Jack and tells him that the oceanic sex must go back to the island. Jack freaks. It's over! Locke is a broken man and wants to hang himself. Ben helps out. I'll miss you, John. Jack grows a beard, starts flying again, hoping he'll crash. How about a newspaper instead? He reads an obituary and learns that Locke is dead. Jack is upset by this and tries to jump off a bridge. <laughs> But Ben finds Jack. Hello, Jack. And tells him that Locke was right, and the Oceanic Six have to go back to the island to save their friends. We're gonna have to bring him, too. Creepy. Jack cleans up, and they meet a woman named Eloise Hawking. She has a cool Dharma station on the mainland. The lamp post. And she knows how to get the Oceanic Six back to the island. Ajira Airways, flight 316. So they go. Pretty crazy, huh? Over the Pacific, there's another white flash. And Jack, Kate, Hurley, and Saeed are transported back in time to... 1977. What? Back in the present, the Ajira plane lands safely on the island. Ben and Son are back. Son wants to find Jim. Do you know where he is? John Locke is no longer dead. You're alive. Huh. Locke has new confidence, orders Ben around. Better get to it then. He tells Richard Alpert. Take me to see Jacob. Jacob is the invisible guy in the creepy cabin. He's been the spiritual guru of the island for many moons, but he has a mysterious nemesis, the man in black. Do you have any idea how badly I want to kill you? What a coincidence. Locke wants to find Jacob. So I can kill him. Locke gets Ben to do the dirty work. Then he kicks Jacob in the fire and Jacob burns. But out on the beach, the Ajira folks open up a box. It's Locke, and he's still dead. So who is this other Locke? Good question. Everybody say, Namaste. Namaste. Back in the 1970s, it's a different world. Sawyer and Juliet are an item. I love you. Hurley's a Dharma chef. Try the dipping sauces, they really bring out the ham. And Sawyer's head of security for the Dharma initiative. Evening, Enos. Jack is laid back now, and Kate's not a fan. I like the old you. Saeed meets the young version of Ben. I'm Ben. And he tries to kill him. But the others save his life. We're going to take care of you. Faraday arrives. Welcome to the meeting, Twitchy with an idea to change the future. I'm gonna detonate a hydrogen bomb. He says that setting off the bomb will negate all the electromagnetic energy on the island. Interesting. So there will be no hatch, Desmond will never have to push the button, and Oceanic 815 will never crash. Kinda nice. Jack likes the idea. This is our destiny. Kate thinks he's crazy. Do you know who you sound like? Faraday gets killed by his own mother. Why did you do that? So Jack drops the bomb down the big hole. All hell breaks loose, but there's no kaboom. Juliet gets sucked in the hole. Sawyer loves Juliet, so he tries to save her. Don't you leave me. I love you, James. Juliet falls, very sad. But deep inside the hole, Juliet finds the bomb, hits it with a rock. The screen goes to white instead of black. Cool. So how does it all end? Watch Lost, the final season, to find out. All Lost seasons one through five available on DVD and Blu-ray. Catch up anytime with full episodes available on iTunes and at abc.com. And mark your calendar for ABC's Lost, the final season premiere event, Tuesday, February 2nd at 8, 7 central on ABC.